Yeah. All right. All right. Perfect. Thank you very much for joining me, Lisa. This is great. All right. Awesome. Um, so for those of you, this is our second episode of the hot seat. Um, our first one, we had April Finley, um, who Dr. Lisa knows. And uh, tonight we have another, uh, another marketing, uh, you know, extraordinaire, genius, whatever. But um, <laughs> Dr. Lisa is going to drop some pretty good bombs tonight for you guys. Um, so to start off, um, a little bit about how I even met uh, Lisa. It was in a 100-day challenge that was put on by a couple of mentors of ours. I was first new into the community that we both belong to. And I just dove into this 100-day challenge. I knew it was something that was cool. I did my research. And I knew some of the faces from the promos and stuff like that. And the very first time I even took notice was, I think it was like the first or second day, you were going through and commenting on like almost, like almost on every post. And one person has said, like, are you the who who are you? Are you like one of these leaders or whatever? And your comment was like, Yeah, I'm a leader. And I was like, Lisa Thompson, of course, I'm like looking her up and stuff like that. I'm like, she is a leader. She is, right? Because <laughs> you took that, you took that 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 belief of like, in order to be the leader, you have to do the actions first, right? right. So I was like, okay, this is someone I'm gonna have to watch. For like the whole 100 days and went through it and you know in the end you're like the number one the top challenger which was like amazing because there was probably 150 people and you, you, you killed it so i knew who knew what to do and i was following your footsteps and following what you're ahead of us and uh then over the summer got to know you and then last year met you and your husband at live the dream which was another great experience that mm -hmm. got to share and then gradually seeing you grow into like this this like took instagram and you have a story about why instagram kind of took off for you which is kind of cool um but you've gone beyond that and you're more than just like an instagram person or an instagram marketer you you the more into the content which you're really you see that in your pictures and in your blogs and in your videos it's like the content so one of the things that i know people have asked me is like where do you get your content from so we'll get into that a little bit later because i know where you're some of the spots you get in them but i'm pretty sure you have a few hidden gems in there <laughs> so that's how for those who don't know how i met uh dr lisa thompson and we've only really met once in person but we kind of feel like you're friends because you see each other every week um on different webinars with different people or you're chatting all the time so we live in our we live in our our computers but we see each other you know at a family reunion once a year type of thing so that's the story <laughs> and uh i appreciate you being on here so let's just get started I, I'm just excited to be on your hot seat here because you're a pretty good marketer yourself and how you've blossomed since that 100-day challenge a year ago. So, I mean, I'm, it's just a real honor to be here and talking with you tonight. Perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, I know you got some fans out there waiting for this recording. So, um, yeah, so I guess the first thing is how... I don't mean not how you got into network marketing or into like your MLM or anything, but was it like right off the start, like something that you just clicked and took off or was it something that you had to work at? To Well, just to give a bit of my story, um, I came from a family of entrepreneurs. Um, my grandparents, both sets of grandparents are entrepreneurs. Uh, my mom's parents, uh, my grandmother was a uh, she worked in a butcher shop with her siblings, and her specialty was the pig. And my my dad's parents, they founded what was called like a land title insurance company. And so I saw from the experience, you know, of mom and dad working at that the family business, if you will, and saw how they employ, you know, how they were able to employ people from the community. They had a really loyal group of employees, but then I saw the downside where 
you know, my mom was spending, you know, three, four hours a night after, you know, dinner doing paperwork and bookkeeping and, and taxes and whatnot. And my brother and I didn't really want to be and take over that business. So they sold it. So I've always had this entrepreneurial bug, but I also had a bad habit as well as, you know, I would start something and maybe go half hearted and then I would not finish. And things changed for me back in um, 2008 when I began looking at online marketing. That was uh, in the fall of 2008. My husband lost his job. And he, at the time, he was going back to school to be an elementary school teacher. And he was working in computer tech support. And he wound up losing his job. And that Christmas, that December, I worked 23 days straight from December 1st through um, December 23rd. I worked every single day because we needed to have, I was the sole income earner. And I realized there's no way I could do that. And I, Mike, I don't know if you ever worked 23 straight days. I never would wish that on anybody because your brain is literally fried. I can't, I can't tell you what, um, what Christmas was that year. I literally have no memory of it because I was working so hard. So I was always entertaining the thought of having a blog, um, or a website. So I was doing some research and doing things like that. And it was, it was a hobby mode still. But um, April 1st, to, to, uh, 2010, my dad suffered a catastrophic injury. He was out mowing the lawn and had a freak accident, broke his neck, came, became quadriplegic. And that was a wake-up call for me because my dad was uh, 64 when it happened. So we didn't really qualify for Medicare benefits a year away from retirement. And that, what to me, was like, Oh my goodness, what would happen to me? Who would provide for my family if I suffered an injury like that? And I can't tell you during that time, I spent many sleepless nights in a cold sweat, wondering what I'm gonna do. And so I began that earnest looking for ways to, you know, kind of build up this income. But then I was looking at blogging, I was looking at SEO, I was looking at um, all these other ways of driving traffic. But then again, it was becoming a time and money pit. I was chasing after shiny objects because of um, everything that I was purchasing was soon out of date. And I didn't understand. I didn't have really that mindset. Um, I thought, well, just tell me what to do. I just implement the strategy and I'll do it. And then in 2013, May of 2013, I was introduced to my lead system pro. And that's when everything changed for me because now I have the tool Okay, I have the tools where people there, you have all the up-to-date tools. Um, you have trainers that are experts and they are ahead of the industry curve and they let you know when new updates are coming. And there's the mindset. And so I had this blend of mindset and the community being so supportive that I finally started uh, seeing success and it began to accumulate. But I focused on one strategy first when I started and that was um, blogging because I, I already was having a blog set up. So I was blogging and I blogged every single day. And then from there, I started doing a little bit of Google Plus. And then I was getting about maybe five to six leads a day there. Then I wound up, I wanted to go into Facebook. But at that time, a year ago, Facebook and I were not on speaking terms. They kept throwing me in jail. I didn't know what I was doing. I mean, um, they, were, they were restricting me from posting in groups, and I wasn't even posting in groups to begin with. And then at that time, I always believe when one door shuts, another opens, and that's when April Marie Tucker and Instagram came about. And then I really latched on to Instagram because it really unleashed my creative genius, and that's when my lead flow really exploded, um, where I wound up in a span of like uh, – two months accumulating over 700 leads and I wound up hitting the leaderboards and advancing in leadership rank um, just by the use of using Instagram. And then now I'm progressing where I'm doing some uh, Facebook and I'm really been focusing on my branding big time because they're, the one thing that's been sticking out in my head right now is congruency. Um, you have to be congruent in your branding from the moment, you know, from the way you structure your blog, your header, your social media, everything in your email follow-ups all have to be congruent because when you have congruency, you're going to have the right message to market match and then people are going to follow you and you're going to have a really good, you're going to get more leads and signups. So that's kind of like what my evolution has been here. 
in the last, uh, I would say, you know, 2009, about six years. Okay, yeah, so you've been in it for quite a while, and you can really see the transformation of your, like, in the last, like, I think probably four, four or five months, your branding online, like, being congruent, you can see that because, it, and it makes it easier for people to follow you because they can easily go from Twitter to Facebook to Instagram mm -hmm. to, to your blog, and it's the same thing, right? So, like, it's mm -hmm. probably building a relationship with people, which is, which is key to helping helping people out and building your your brand and your followers and eventually you know sales and uh, memberships and stuff like that so yeah that's a lot of people get can get that mixed up and mm -hmm. branding so they don't don't always understand what you ink means and we think well we should have our company out there all the time but the the way i i look at it is that people are coming to us mm -hmm. and they want to know about our company or what we do. They can, you know, they can ask us or once we build that relationship, we can, you know, send out a little email. Hey, guess what I also do type of thing. So that's cool. Yeah. I, I you were doing Google plus when we first met too. I like, think uh, back, back in a hundred day challenge, one of them anyways, maybe the first one you were mm -hmm. doing at Google. And uh, I, I just want to say too, when I first did my blogging and I had my websites, I hid behind logos and I hid behind, I actually went to Fiverr and found spokespeople to do my videos, like my lead-ins and everything. And it wasn't until I got into my lead system pro and I got over that fear. You know, the big thing guys, if you're going to be successful in your business is that you are the star of the show. It's not your company, not your compensation plan, not your product. It's you because people are going to buy from you because they know, like, and trust you. So, you know, it's kind of, it was real unnerving for me at first to put my picture out there and do video, but now I'm very comfortable with it. And you just have to um, just do it. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to get started because people, if you're, you're showing off how, you know, you're stuttering or you don't come off um, polished, people see that as, wow, you know, you, if you're stuttering and you're not, uh, you don't have all the glitz and the glamour and the bells and whistles and you're being successful. I can do this too. So you're being a beacon of hope when you're just putting yourself out there. And so that's the first thing I would recommend to people is, you know, if you're out there and you have a, you're hiding behind your pets, you're hiding behind a logo, um, go out there and get a real nice headshot of yourself. I mean, the one that I have right now, my husband and I were just out, he had his camera with, and I just went and sat in front of a firehouse that's right near our home, and he just snapped some pictures of me. And they came, in, and so you don't have to go and spend a lot of money to get a professional headshot done. You can, you know, all your cameras and smartphones are HD um, compatible, yeah. And so you can go out and create a real nice picture of yourself and put that out there, and that's going to really attract people. And then make sure that whatever you're using for clothes, that it's the same in your um, in your headers for all your social media profiles. Because I learned that from an industry leader, Michelle Pescos leader. If you ever go and look at her site, and you see her welcome videos to her website, her headers. Um, her social media profile, she's always wearing the same color shirt because that branding, people may not remember your name, but then they're going to remember, oh, you're one always wears the blue shirt and you have the blue eyes. And so people are very visual. So you want to use that to your advantage. Exactly. Yeah. That's a really good point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like the pictures I, that I took, um, they were just at my sister-in-law's house in front of their flower bed and my wife took uh the pictures of us and then we kind of cropped them a little bit and stuff like that mm -hmm. but it was very like two minutes if that i wore a nice shirt that day and boom 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 took some pictures away we went <laughs> so yeah so it doesn't have to be difficult and we just used her iphone so that's mm -hmm. the way i do all my videos right so you don't have to go out and spend the, the big mm -hmm. bucks that you think you might but it's important just to, to do it because I know when I first started doing videos, I was like, oh, my goodness. I think the first one I took with like 20 takes, right? And then I was like, oh, I need a script. And I'm like, no, forget that. Like, <laughs> just yeah. do it. <laughs> you know? uh, 
but just it, it, I would just say you know using the same shirt and that for like if you're on your blog you should have a welcome video and then doing your story on your blog you should have that in video format and that you should be wearing like the same shirt that you're wearing in your header for the branding but everything else I mean you can wear whatever you know other shirts and that with whatever you want but on those big ones because those are kind of like your your big uh, I would say your your way you're introducing yourself and you're indoctrinating people in your brand. That's that, that's where I would say that you need to have the congruency there. So, yeah. So no, those are great. So I guess uh, another question um, we learned about your strategy that you're using right now and the evolution of that, which was kind of pretty cool. But you've also um, you have some pretty high profile mentors and stuff like that, like. Mm -hmm. Um, Diana, Diana Hawkman and uh, Dr. Doug Firebra, mm -hmm. um, those guys. And so I guess a lot of people want to know is how did you even get, uh, how did they even get, how did they notice you? Like what did you do that got you noticed? Well, here's what you got to do. I mean that you need to understand this distinction is to leverage leadership within your company. I leverage the leadership in my lead system pro. That's my primary who I promote. And what you need to do, and I began to understand the way of investing. So when you look at your business, you're going to have to make an investments. And what I learned with, with coaching, and this is a great quote from Tony Robbins, when you pay, you pay attention. And so when I looked at, you know, because I wanted their time. And what I first started doing is I found one mentor who really resonated with me. And I stuck with them for about 90 days. So what you do is you go and you, you try to request their name on, you know, try to be friends on Facebook. And if you can, just send them a message anyway. And then like their fan page, get on their mailing list and watch what they're communicating. Watch how they're doing their videos. Watch their content you know, bookmark their blocks, see what they're putting out there. And when they're doing webinars, go out there and watch what they're doing for webinars. And, and what I began doing is when I implemented their strategies, you have to implement, okay? They're not going to hold your hand. They're not going to build your business for you. But they want you to make mistakes. So when you're going to make mistakes when you're out there building your business and you are going to fall face forward, that's part of the game. But you have to, and I adopted this mindset, is that when I make a mistake, that means I've learned successfully, okay? Because we learn our greatest lessons from the mistakes that we make. And what happens is, is when you make that mistake and you're on the leaders and they start to notice you, they're going to be the first ones holding their hand out to pull you, pick you up, and then you get and you move forward. That's how you're going to get leaders noticing you. So I would take action. And even if I had one or two leads, I'd make a screenshot and I would send it to them. And I'd say, hey, look what I'm getting here. And then that's how I wound up getting on their radar. And then pretty soon I began developing relationships. And as I moved up the ranks in my lead system pro, I began, they will start, I, I was starting being pulled out on webinars. I started being asked to be a guest panelist. And then I wound up getting on their testimonials on their sales pages. And that's huge because that is something that when you um, wind up being on a testimonial and you give a testimonial and people are looking, you know, don't underestimate your audience and followers because they're doing their homework on you. So if you are, um, you put things out there and they look at your sales page or recommendations and they see your name on there as using the product, but you never said, oh, use this and I used it, but I do a very subtle way with that. And they see my name and that on that sales page, it's like, wow, Dr. Lisa used it. She got great results. That must mean I should use it too because I can get a similar result. And then over time, you build up this relationship where now I'm asking for testimonials from the leaders and they give it to me within, you know, I asked for a couple of testimonials to be on my website and they were, and they gave it to me like within an hour. So that is how you leverage your leadership. Um, so in the beginning, just take action. That's the big thing. Take consistent action and keep them in the loop and show them what you're doing because that's how you're going to get noticed and then they're going to wind up giving you more exposure and then they're going to say as far as social proof you know 
they're going to endorse you and then you need to get to the live events where they're there and you get your picture taken with them you can interview them and that's how you leverage everything so that was a big aha for me and and i've got big plans when i'm down in austin where i'm really going to be leveraging and interviewing the leaders i didn't get a chance to do it at the last event but i'm definitely doing it this year and i'm, I'm getting everything prepped for that well, um, that's a lot to take away from. That was like probably way <laughs> bigger than what I even imagined. Like that right there was just uh, people could have paid for that. Um, so if you're watching it, rewind it about five minutes and start taking notes and do that. Take the action because you know I got well. So far, I have about three pages of notes. Um, these interviews. <laughs> <laughs> wonders every time I walk away with my book. <laughs> <Un, un -pastic. laughs> so that one was like, that was up there. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. That's a, that's a really good one. So hopefully people just, just take action on that one and rewind it. Keep going back and back and back and definitely get in contact with Lisa because her blog definitely has a lot more tips. Her videos are awesome. Uh, amazing. Um, it's just great, yeah. So if you love that tip, just go <laughs> connect with her, find her on Facebook. Um, so yeah, so I guess uh, we'll have a couple more questions because I want to keep it kind of not super long or anything like that. But what your mindset changed from one thing from from before to to like even getting your little aha moments and stuff. What was say one one tip that helped you with your mindset i know one that helped me huge and I, I talk about that one all the time but for yourself like what made it it change from like um a hobby to like yeah this i know it was like your, your father um and that kind of like but what made it in their your snap in your your mind to actually say yes i'm doing this now it's um I would say I got disturbed and I don't mean disturbed in a negative sense, but I got disturbed enough where I was thinking I have the, I can change what I can, you know, cause I remember one of the, my favorite personal development coaches and I, whenever I get stuck, I always listen to Tony Robbins and Tony has this great, um, if you ever look, go on YouTube, um, just subscribe to his channel. And he has a, he, he takes people through this process called the Dickens pattern based on the Christmas Carol, where you go into your past with the ghost of Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas, and Christmas yet to come. And you put your life in that. And so you would do that. And I thought, you know, where you do it, if you didn't take action, what would things look like? And then if you did take action, how would things go? And I think because my dad's injury was such a tipping point that it became a must. You know, we don't get what we are shoulds, but we get our musts. You know, so pain was driving me there at the beginning. But now I'm crafting a vision. I was on a, you know, you and I were on that webinar Wednesday night with uh, Ray Higdon, where he said, you know, you really now have to create a vision of the person you want to be. And so I've been really crafting that. And when I started crafting that, because, you know, we all have a source code, all right? We all have a source code of gifts and talents that God gave us that allows us to go out and, you know, um, be a force for good and to make the world a better place. And so my source code is, is teaching. I love to teach. So my vision is, as I envision myself teaching on a global scale via webinar, on stage, um, through videos, and you know, to thousands of people. That's that's my vision of what I'm seeing. So when you have that vision, it's like, okay, now I have to, you know, I can't say that I will do it. I have to start doing it now. I have to start acting as if I'm doing that right now. So that's how my whole 90-day social media marketing blitz came about. You know, I saw that, you know, there were a lot of people who want to go to Austin, Texas, you know, and you have to be a certain leadership rank to go to the big pool party that they're having on Friday. And 
I just thought, you know, this is a great opportunity to lead a group of people who never really stepped out of their comfort zone and create an environment where they can step up and start, you know, taking action and getting momentum going. And so, you know, you're in the group and we've got a lot of, you know, we have over 50 people in that group and it's so exciting to see people stepping up and taking action. And then when I started taking action every day, you know, um, for those who are fitness nuts and you run, you hear to the runner's high where you get all those endorphins. And I have what's called an entrepreneur high. And I get that where when I start creating content, that just stimulates me to like do more, do more, do more. So you have to find that, that, you know, something that, you know, as far as content creation, that's going to really stimulate that. And for me last year, that started with Instagram. All right. I, in the first thing in the morning, my first pieces of content I would create are images because that got my creative process going. So when you pick your strategy, you know, find the vehicle that's going to, you know, really stimulate that creativity. And so um, for a lot of people, I'm suggesting, you know, images or video because a lot of people don't like to write. But then if they're still having problems, I say, OK, go back to your childhood. And what were some things you love to do as a hobby? You know, and when you look at content marketing right now, you know, we have pictures, we have video, we have writing, you know, blogging. So when you look at that, you know, were, were you a writer for the school paper when you were in the school? Were you, you know, were you the one when they had the big camcorders back in the day? Were you the ones that were taking all the videos? You know, do you remember getting your first camera? Were you out taking pictures? And you connect to that childhood memory because that's something that you can tap into but won't grow out of. That's the big secret to content marketing and finding the strategy that works for you. Find the thing that you can tap into but not grow out of. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, no, that, that's a, those are really good. And a lot of good quotes are too. So that's perfect. Um, yeah, like this with myself, like I, I have, I, I've actually found because we, I started out doing the videos um, in an instant in the Instagram challenge that you and April and April put on. And now if I am not if I didn't do an Instagram video that day, I feel really bad. I'm like, Oh, my goodness, I can't believe I missed my video. Whereas before it was like, Oh man, I gotta do a video. I don't know what I'm gonna talk about. Um, but yeah, like once you start doing it continually, continue, it just becomes a habit, right? And <clears> when you you might when you feel you've missed it, you're just like, for bed, I gotta get out and I gotta do a video before I head to bed. So yeah, like those and are that's just why you gotta schedule everything. You gotta have yeah. a plan. And I have a I I'm old school. I don't use technology when I plan my day. I just I go to I went to Office Max and I got one of those student planners. And that's how I plan everything. I write out what content I'm gonna do for the week, what videos I'm gonna do, um, and making everything kind of congruent and with a theme, you know, what I'm what I'm gonna be sending out for emails. Um you know, usually Fridays I send out a friendly Friday freebie training to my email list. So I always write out what I'm going to be doing, you know, that week sending out that training. So, you know, you got to be, if you don't write it down, it doesn't get done. That's, yeah. that's another big takeaway. Yeah. Write it down, get done. Yeah. Like I, now I do, I have a, I have a schedule where in the morning, first thing I do before for anything is I do my Instagram video and I do my social media video for Facebook and, and then it's like okay now now we can go and do some other things but yeah so it's yeah writing it down I have my own book right here every morning I see it and I put it place where I can where I will see it and I'll be like the first place you go is to brush your teeth and I have my book there so I know what I have to do right after I brush my teeth <laughs> so <laughs> Those are some awesome tips, Lisa. I, I like to thank you very much. Um, but before we go, um, how can people get a hold of you? Because this is your this is your time. To... Um, well, you can do, you can get a hold of me a couple of different ways. You can get a hold of me on my Facebook fan page, which is um, Dr. Lisa Thompson, or you can go to my website and you can go to drlisamthompson.com, and you can find more um, information there. I have a lot of good social media tips and training, you know, if you need people, uh, you need to learn the tips and strategies of how people can find, follow, and contact you online. Perfect. Excellent. Well, I want to thank you for joining us on the 
the hot seat. Um, so it wasn't too hot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I want to thank you very much and have yourself a, a great evening. And I want everyone to go, if you're on Facebook, Instagram, go find Dr. Lisa and, and give her a shout out because again, these are done, no, no fee, like it's done on their time. So I want to appreciate it and go give them a shout out and uh, watch this video many, many times and uh, have yourself a, a great evening. Thanks very much. And Bye. next week. <laughs>